What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday over here. Bitcoin had a bit of a drop earlier today down to almost 26K. It is in danger zone, in my opinion. We're going to explore why and see what the charts are telling us about Bitcoin, the crypto markets, as well as a lot of these altcoins, because the main driver it is still Bitcoin in this market. Of course, the main topic for this post will be about Solana. See what has gone on with this market since the last time I talked about this coin. What has changed? Let's take a look into some upside and downside price targets for Solana, as well as some key price levels to be paying attention to in order for this coin to go either way. I'm going to be giving you guys my personal sentiments and opinions about this overall crypto market as a whole later in this video, so make sure to stay around for that. However, none of what I'm saying here is financial advice. It's purely my personal opinions and speculations. I could very well be wrong. I am not a financial advisor, nor an elite trader of any sort, even though I am a profitable trader who's been able to keep most of my profits during the last bear markets. But I'm looking to crush it here for the next bull cycle. So if you guys feel the same way, if you guys feel pumped, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into the charts. <clears throat> All right, so we do have Solana here, currently at about $19.20, down just about 1% today, okay? Uh, Bitcoin had a bit of a uh, pullback today, too. So, I mean, it could have brought some of these bigger altcoins down with it. So, very important that we're going to take a look into Bitcoin later, but right now, let's take a, let's take a quick look at Solana and see what has happened since the last time, okay? Since the last time, Solana <clears throat> has broken out of um, this falling wedge, right? The smaller falling wedge, which is still, in my opinion, part of the breakout of this bigger falling wedge here, right? This bigger falling wedge has been forming since, since November of 2021, <clears throat> okay? So it's a very big falling wedge. And if you guys do go to the Bitcoin charts, you guys would see basically, you know, very much the same pattern, okay? November, uh, December, where Bitcoin has had that, you know, the start of that huge bear market. You're going to see this, um, you know, this, this falling wedge as well. And Bitcoin has broken out of that. Uh, and so has Solana here. So very... Uh, correlated here, right? As I keep mentioning, Bitcoin is the driver of this market. So a lot of these altcoins who's been around for quite some time is going to look a lot like Bitcoin if you, you know, zoom out, right? So right now, um, the, you know, the measure target out of that bigger falling wedge is about, it's, a, it's 200 bucks, okay? But, right, that is an estimate only. And you know, uh, do your own Google searches on what measure targets, falling wedges, measure moves mean, right? It is an estimate, uh, not, it's not going to be an automatic drive to that price, right? There's going to be a lot of things that can happen. As you guys can see, price action has broken out quite some time ago from this bigger falling wedge right here, right? December of last year. And, you know, after it has broken out, it hasn't really been doing too much, right? It broke out at the price level of about 14 bucks. And it's, you know, went up to as high as about $32, right? Um, So it, there's going to be a lot of what ifs in between. So that's where, um, you know, coming in and uh, looking at the charts on a lower time frame is going to, you know, tell me what's more likely to happen. Uh, at least in the short term, right? Now, price action has been running within this uh, smaller falling wedge since the breakout, right? Um, this was more recent since July, right? Price action has broken out of this pattern, right? Uh, as of September 16th, at least in terms of the three-day candle. I think last time um, before I 
talked about it, you know, before the breakout, I talked about this and the measure move um was, you know, it came later than uh what we talked about. So last time we talked about a, a potential. I, I picked a random measure move date for September 4th, but it broke out, you know, September 16th. Okay. So let's go ahead and stretch this real quick to illustrate the breakout and then put the measure target, which is the opening of the falling wedge, and then on top of the actual breakout date. And then that should give us a measure move of about $28, right? Area, $28 area. Right, so let's see if, you know, it's gonna get there anytime soon. This is the three day time frame, so not as long as, you know, this huge falling wedge, which could be even seen on the monthly time frame, right? So let's take a look at some key price levels. This price action does need to get above in order to get to a measure target of $28, okay? So immediately you're gonna see your three day 21 and your three day 50 at about the same spot of about $21, okay, area, okay? And then the three day 200 SMA is quite far away. It's about 36 bucks area, the orange line. Let's take a look into. The weekly moving averages also at about, you know, 21 bucks area. So quite a bit of major moving averages and resistance at that $21 area. Okay. So expect sell pressure to come from that, um, from that zone. And if you get over that zone, that is a very good sign. If you can, you know, hold above these zones because you're above these major moving averages. Take a look into the monthly time frame. Where is the monthly moving average? The only monthly moving average would be the monthly 21 SMA here, <clears throat> which would be about the $40 area. Your daily moving averages. So price action is basically right at the daily 21 SMA, which is the blue line here at about 19 bucks. Daily 50. And daily 200 SMA, the gray and the orange line, respectively, at about 21 bucks. So quite a bit of resistance at $21 if you get through this level. If this if Solana gets through this level, um, then you know that's that's a very good sign. And stay above $21 and these moving averages, right? So that's what I'm seeing for uh some of the key resistances for Solana. These are some noticeable key resistances, which are your major moving averages. Of course, there's going to be other key resistances you should be looking for, in my opinion, uh, by looking at past trading history, especially if you're looking to take profits. If you're trading this actively, you know, it's good. It's imperative that you know where some of the key resistances are. That's for you to look at in past trading history in whatever time frame you guys are focusing on, right? Uh, for time's sake, we're not going to do that here. Let's take a look into some key supports. We could look at some key supports based on past trading history. But we're going to come to the monthly time frame and get a consolidated view. It's basically the simplified version of uh, finding key uh, resistances and support, right? And um, in my opinion here, you know, if, if you see a major resistance or support on the monthly time frame, yeah, that's major resistance and support because it could take, you know, at least one uh, monthly candle to actually break that level. Yeah, that's, you know, if, if it's going to take you a month's time to get through a certain level at least, right, at least one month's time, then that's considered as, to me, at least that's considered as major resistance or support. Okay. So let's take a look here. We're currently at about 19 bucks. The next level down will be coming from this candle right here from March of this year. That's currently pointing at 16 bucks 
area. Okay, that's the next level of key support I'm seeing here. 16 bucks area coming from March of this year. And then 13 bucks coming from this candle right here, June of this year. And I mean, it's going to be referring to back here. So 13 bucks. Well, not going to be able to see that. So it's going to be coming from June of this year, about 13 bucks. Okay. So 16 bucks and $13. Those are going to be your next key levels of support, which are still, you know, pretty far down, right? Um, That's basically going to kill all the progress that the bulls have made so far. All right. That's what I'm seeing for Solana. Let's take a look into Bitcoin real quick and see what's going on. Bitcoin is down currently. Um, it is still staying away from, it has been able to stay away from this breakdown, which has been very boring price action, right? A uh, couple of weeks candle here, uh, very, you know, pretty relatively small movement, right? That's one, two, three. We had a little bit of a pump here. About six or five or six weekly candles, not doing too much, staying in around that 25, 27K range, right? Uh, but, you know, Bitcoin has been able to stay away from this double top on this weekly time frame, which is still good, right? Something to definitely be keeping an eye out on because if it's, you know, getting close to that neckline of about 24.7K again, then that is when the bulls are going to start worrying, okay? We have the weekly 50 SMA coming up slowly, currently at about 24.6, 24.7K actually. I mean, that's looking pretty good, right? Um, Because, you know, if the price action actually breaks this neckline, that means, you know, we don't really have to wonder about where the bounce is coming from, right? Uh, it breaks 24.7K. It breaks that uh, bounce potential as well from that weekly 50 SMA. Let's take a look into the four hour time frame, which has been the focus because, you know, Bitcoin has had some recent movement. Broken out of this falling wedge, 29.2K is the measure targets, estimate only. Broken out of this price action has a um, head and shoulders pattern still in play, right? Measured move from this head and shoulders pattern will be 25.2K area. That's still a pretty big drop for Bitcoin, uh, which could translate into quite a bit of a drop for the altcoins as well, right? However... You know, price action broken below this neckline of this head and shoulders pattern, which would be about, I'm just going to say 26.4K to be even and to be safer. Price action has not been able to reclaim 26.4K, right? But it is in a falling wedge, right? Since the breakdown of this head and shoulders pattern. So will this head and shoulders pattern break down, fall short? Um, and you know, the bears are not going to get their full measure target here. Something to be keeping an eye out on because, uh, it is getting pretty close to that upper trend line of that falling wedge. And, you know, it's going to do something in the next couple of four hour candles, right? Let's take a look into even a smaller time frame. Now, falling wedges, like I said, usually breaks to the upside. So you have a pretty interesting scenario here. You have a... Head and shoulders breakdown, but it's forming a falling wedge, which usually breaks back to the upside. So will the head and shoulders pattern measure target fall short and not go all the way down to 25.2k area? Hourly time frame here, right? We also have a falling channel, which usually breaks to the upside as well. Okay. So um, quite a few things to be looking out for. Uh, definitely not a time to be snoozing on Bitcoin. Uh, even if you guys are trading altcoins, in my opinion, because I'm trading altcoins and I am definitely not uh blinking right now. So 
Um, that's basically it. Um, uh, my overall sentiment on this market is still overall bullish. I am still long on quite a bit of all coins, right? Um, so that's what I'm seeing. I think it's time to be a little cautious right now. Well, at least, you know, for me, because I'm looking to open leverage positions, right? So, um, those are going to be quick scalps and, you know, uh, they allow less room for error. Um, so that's basically what I'm seeing. Uh, if you guys want to see more of Solana, do you like, subscribe, comment. I will bring you guys another update if enough of you guys want to see it. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of the day. See you guys later.